All right, nobody expects a rental house to be perfect, but you should get at least the basic stuff like water and gas service. Yeah, Fox 4 problem solver Linda Wager shows us one rental house with so many problems that the city cracked down on a landlord who keeps insisting he's not to blame. We had to fix this door. The sticky door is actually the least of Sandy Herndon's problems. It should have rented a house out. When we first met Sandy and her husband Cliff, they'd been living here two weeks without water or gas. <laughs> Despite countless calls to their landlord for help. He would not return none of my calls, won't return my text messages, none of it. The Herndons are stuck here. They gave landlord Fred Hartman six months rent in advance. It was all their savings, but they thought they'd found a place they could call home. And that was until the day they moved in. Okay, the water department shows up about five, six o'clock. They turn it on. It's just leaking like a sieve out at the main on the street. No water at all. When the gas company showed up, it turned on the gas, but it also issued several warnings. The gas is turned on. He just said, be leery of hooking anything up. That includes the gas stove they just bought. A brand new stove I can't do anything with. They even sent a text to their landlord offering to pay to hire a plumber and fix the water line and have the expense deducted from their rent. Please leave your message for... But again, no answer. So what can they do? Luckily, their troubled rental house at 9th and Topping is under the jurisdiction of Kansas City's Healthy Homes Program, one of the toughest programs in the country, designed specifically to crack down on bad rental properties. It's illegal to rent a house without water in Kansas City. A Healthy Homes inspector immediately called the Herndon's landlord. We give them until end of business today to get the uh, uh, issue rectified. And the same thing would apply to the gas. And the Healthy Homes program doesn't mess around. Landlords that don't comply can lose their ability to operate in Kansas City. They have to have water, they have to have electricity, they have to have what they paid for to live in that property. The landlord promised the inspector he was working on the problem, but here was one of his solutions. He dropped off water stored in old kitty litter containers for the Herndons to use. Yeah, look at all that nastiness in there. Well, that's not acceptable. For more than a week, problem solvers kept stopping by, hoping to see the problems fixed. And there was some action. Someone had dug a hole at the leak site and run a temporary water line to the house, which in turn flooded the basement. And that's also when the Hernets discovered their water heater isn't working. We were there when frustrated inspectors showed up in force, meeting with landlord Fred Hartman and slapping him with $800 in fines. So what does Hartman have to say for himself? They charged me an $800 fine. Yeah, okay, all right. So, and then, you know, I'm you... getting hurt out of this financially. Hartman said he had no idea the gas and water were an issue until after the Herndons moved in. So why didn't he answer his phone for more than a week? Well, I was down at the lake on vacation, and I don't answer my phone when I'm at the lake. He says he's getting everything fixed now, and on this day, a month after the Herndons moved in, he offered them their money back if they wanted to find a new place to live. It was an offer the Herndons declined now that repairs are finally underway. Hartman tells us he's been renting properties for decades and never had a problem with the city until now. But the Healthy Homes Inspection Program is only about three years old, and it's been a wake-up call to Kansas City landlords who rent properties like this one. Disgusting. Linda Wager, Fox 4 Problem Solvers.